holds it like this to press down the lever so that it doesn't yeah so that it doesn't go anywhere not to drop it not to pull anything later he pulls the pin tosses it and throws the grenade and then he squats down a position with a gun like this well let's try to throw one let's do it enough enough theory let's practice well alexander are you ready yes yes sir fire Grenade. Need to pull the pin first. Let me do this like they do in action movies. Well, you're only going to break your teeth this way. I can't pull it out. No, no, no. It's quite tight, yeah? Well, even if you unclench the antenna, they are still under a metal spring. There are many metal parts. I think I broke a tooth. So you can break your teeth, but it won't really help pulling the pin out. No, but seriously, I did really chip a tooth. Yeah, yeah, pull it out, that's right. Of course I know that it's all a drill and that the grenade won't explode. But even with this, Zilch promised. Right, now it's ready. Right now I can hold it as long as I want, huh? Well, as long as the lever's in its place, which holds down all the antenna. Well, should I throw it now? Yes, yes, you can throw it. Not bad. It's all fear. That's one grenade for you. Not bad at all. Well, basically they are all dead now. Yes. And what if, well, you stand over here and someone throws a grenade at your feet? Can you grab it and throw it away like in the movies? Grab it and throw it like in a movie? Well, imagine 3.6 tenths of a second well, on average during the fuse burning. It is in the air for a second and then for two seconds it is left somewhere. Can you grab it in two seconds and throw it away for a safe distance? Well, I think if you are eager to survive, everything becomes possible. Let's try. You throw a grenade at me, start the stopwatch, and when it is three and six tenths of a second, blow me a whistle. Let's do it, right? So this means that the grenade exploded. Let's see how far I can throw it away from myself. Ready? Ready.